I don't think that the ZV-E1 has an actual overheating issue for 90% of you. And I wouldn't avoid getting this camera because you heard that it overheats. I just recorded for 46 minutes straight until the camera showed the overheating warning icon and got a total of 52 continuous minutes of 4K 24P recording out of the ZV-E1 before the camera got too hot and auto shut off due to overheating. I was in the studio at 72 degrees, so a controlled climate and if I was outside in direct sunlight and warmer weather and did the same test, it absolutely would have shut down a little bit sooner. But with that said, who shouldn't get this camera because they're concerned about overheating? Anyone needing to shoot long format video, especially in 4K, outside in the heat in direct sunlight, think like a professional wedding videographer, should not get this Sony ZV-E1. But the truth is, I don't think a professional wedding videographer is looking at this camera anyways. It only has one card slot, which if you're shooting once in a lifetime footage that you can't shoot again, you absolutely have a camera with two card slots so you can shoot redundantly. And if a card fails, you have a backup to make sure you don't miss that shot. Anyone needing to rely on a camera for longer format interviews around like 50, 60 minutes should not get this camera. I wouldn't get this camera for long format live streams around that 50, 60 minute mark. Somebody else who shouldn't get this camera is anybody who needs to shoot in 4K, 60p for longer than like let's say 10 minutes at a time the test i've seen in 4k 60 it shuts off around that mark sometimes you get closer to 20. not a lot of us are doing that anyways if you're shooting in 4k 60 it's probably because you're grabbing something in slow motion those are typically 10 second shots 15 second shots maybe up to a minute so we'll snag that shot and then we'll put the camera to rest maybe even turn it off completely and then grab another shot of something similar so rarely are we shooting for 10 15 20 20 minutes continuous in 4K 60, but if you happen to need that, I wouldn't get this camera. However, I do think that the Sony ZV-E1 does make for an exceptional B cam for all those situations that I just listed. For anyone else, this camera is gonna be just fine and don't let the overheating issue hold you back from picking up this excellent camera. There are two settings that you wanna get just right to make sure that your camera gets the most amount of record time before any overheating starts to occur. I'm on this bottom tab here, this briefcase. We're gonna go over to item number nine power setting option make sure your auto power off temp is set to high I've had Sony cameras for years I've always had this setting set to high and when you first choose this setting the camera is gonna make it sound like it's gonna completely explode when you set it to high it's not the case it's gonna be fine the cameras that I've used have never fried out I've used them extensively they never fried out nothing bad has ever happened so just make sure you set this to high I think I even saw that somebody returned their ZV-E1 because when they were going through the menu system when they first got the camera and were setting it up that the camera overheated and it shut down so they had to return it. Yeah, it was probably because they didn't have that setting set to high and even if they had it set to standard, there's like no shot. I mean, maybe if they were doing it like a sauna or something, but anyways. Next setting, I'm gonna go to tab three under image quality and recording, I'm gonna go to file format and then we have some different codecs that we can choose from here. So one of the reviews, somebody was doing an overheating test and they showed the camera shut down in like 20 minutes in 4K recording. In that video, that person was in XAVC SI, which is technically the highest video quality that this camera can produce. To be honest with you, I haven't seen a huge difference in quality between XAVCS, SI, or HS, but I could have told you that, that if you're recording an XAVC SI that, and doing an overheating test or just generally shooting with it, it's gonna shut down a lot sooner. That video format, that codec is going to be the highest bit rate, producing a lot of information. There's a lot to process. It's, it's gonna overheat a lot faster than what I use, which is XAVC S 4K. And it's also one that's going to, in my test, produce the best results in terms of your record times and when the camera is gonna actually overheat. And again, the quality of XAVCS is plenty fine. You've been watching it this whole time in all of my recent ZV-E1 videos. So XAVCS is the way to go there. This camera is also incredible in low light situations. So if you're curious about how to make your ZV-E1 footage look exceptional at those really high ISOs, you're gonna wanna check out this video where I dive into exactly that. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. See ya.